The provincial government and the Central Interior Logging Association have joined forces to put people to work. With some funding in hand, qualified applicants will be trained to work in the forest industry. With the announcement of nearly half a million dollars in funding, the Central Interior Logging Association will launch phase two of a program to train log and chip truck drivers and heavy equipment operators. The training can't come soon enough. In the next 10 years with all these big projects, we're looking at a, a million jobs in BC. There's only 650,000 kids in school, so we know that this could be pretty stiff competition for workers. That we're going to have to bring them from elsewhere, but in the meanwhile, we want to give British Columbians the opportunity to, to get those skills and get the advance, which is what government's doing. Marianne Arcand says in the next decade there could be 30,000 openings in logging alone. The MLA for Nanchaco Lakes says this second phase targets workers in the region west of Prince George. And whether that's uh, in the direct in forestry uh, through, uh, through the educational programs at the UNBC or whether that is uh, through the trades and the training opportunities, uh, clearly we are going to be needing people going forward and so this is a program that we have in place that we did a trial, it's been very successful, we're expanding this, uh, this opportunity now and our hope is to be able to continue to do more in the future. So far 20 percent of the successful applicants are women and another 15 percent are First Nations. We're targeting unemployed and underemployed uh, individuals that have not been on EI uh, that can come forward, that are looking for a future in the forest industry. We can provide them with the training, whether it's heavy equipment operating or truck driving. Uh, and through this process, we're really pleased that we've had 100% success rate so far in the program. The program requires rigorous screening of applicants, followed by on-the-job mentoring, something that sets this program apart. Usually, once you got your class one, that was it, you're on your own. And most of the schools only train to pass the test. We're training with a career path in mind. It's a bit of a different focus. And so we're very pleased. I've got contractors that have phoned and said, you know, I'll take your next four graduates or the next seven. I'm going, oh, wow, there's only 30 in the next batch and they're almost half spoken for. Um, that, that's really, really gratifying. And it's, and it's really good for the students when they know there are jobs waiting. To date, 22 people have completed their training under this program and are working in the forest industry. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.